The late 1950s, this man had women falling out of speed. They swooned over his music and they dreamed about being in his arms forever. The few really got close enough to the king to know about that. Well, my next guest not only did get close enough, they worked right along beside him. They were Elvis Presley's leading ladies. Please welcome from his movie, Girls, 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 Stella Stevens. <laughs> And Harum Scarum, former Miss America, Marianne Mosley. <laughs> appeared in Rouse About and Frankie and Johnny, Sue Ann Langdon. <laughs> and finally, via satellite from California, she appeared with Elvis and Speedway, oh God bless her, a woman who is an intellectual and a trendsetter. <laughs> <laughs> Nancy Sinatra. Yeah. And to have all four of you here is incredible and wonderful. Did you all know Elvis before you started to work with him? No. I no, didn't. I didn't. No, I didn't. we were from the same state. We're both from Mississippi, and I had never met him until I went to work on the set at MGM. What about you, Nancy? You said yes. Yeah, I, when I met him, I was about 18 years old. He was just getting out of the Army. And uh, we were going to do a special together that my dad was doing, welcoming him home from the Army. And so my dad sent me to meet him at Fort Dix. And it was, of course, one of the greatest thrills of my life. <laughs> and and then we did the show after that. So I, I, I had known him for quite some time. Well, you, there was a rumor that you were dating him. Did you date him? Oh, you're just no, friends. Never, Seriously. He never had a chance. I'm sorry to say, um, I was married when he was single, then he the was way. married when I was single, and then I was married again. So. <laughs> what about you? Did any of you date him on the set or before? I never dated him, and I never saw him off the MGM lot, but twice in my life. And yet I consider him one of the best friends I've ever had in my life. Why? Well, uh, he used to say, Marianne, one day I'm going to have a party I can invite you to. But, I mean, uh, he was a real southern gentleman. Oh, always. He yes, was... Uh, no, ma'am. He stood when I entered the set, and he yes. said, where is Marianne's chair? He was never late, always on time, always had his lines learned. There was no display of temperament, of ego. And to this day, I think he's probably one of the nicest people that I ever met. You know, I think you can only go by the way people are with you. I know that there have been a lot of books written about Elvis. I never saw any, any of that. I never saw him shows? take a drink. I never saw him smoke. Well, what year was this about? Uh, we did two movies together. What I think the first one was 1962, and the second one was in 1963. What about you, Nancy? Did you see any of the drinking or smoking or anything? Nothing. Absolutely, Absolutely nothing. I was so shocked when I heard the news that so uh, I. I really couldn't believe it. You I mean, still can't shocked believe shocked the drugs? You were shocked? Uh -huh. I had no idea. So had I, no I, I, idea. I kind of live in a dream world anyway, but I, I, I just... Uh, <laughs> I, it was a shock to me. We were out to dinner one night, and uh, somebody at the bar, when we were standing there, told me about it, and I just... It Tell ruined about my, what the death ruined, That he died, yeah, and it just absolutely ruined my dinner. And, and then, I didn't know... Yeah. Not me, I, yeah. I cried. I cried all through dinner. Yeah. I did. And I, I had no idea. that creme glacé <laughs> <at the end. laughs> no, I, 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 I did. I did. I cried. I'm just kidding. Elvis <laughs> Yeah. Want to be <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're bad. But, but, you, but my, my my husband's brother. We were having dinner yeah. with him. And he's a doctor, and he told me about the drugs. And that and you I was I was so surprised. What about you, Stella? You uh, also. You, you knew about the drinking. You saw the drinking. You saw I, the drinking. I saw a lot of drinking. I didn't see any drugs. And uh, by the way, we didn't know each other. I was born in Mississippi, too, yes. and lived in Memphis, Tennessee, but we did not go to the same high school. I went to a girls' school. Right. And uh, we met on the Paramount lot. But then we spent time in Honolulu, Hawaii, together. Oh, that's right. You did the, the movie, yes. Hotel. We, we did Girls, Girls, yes. Girls. 
Yes, and uh, which I said should have been called Pills, Pills, Pills. <laughs> because uh, he actually was so fascinated. I never saw him take a pill, but he had this giant pharmaceutical book that showed every capsule and every fill, uh, pill that was made by every company. And he uh, took me into his room one night and I thought, oh, I'll be in Elvis's room, you know. I'm really looking forward to this. He said, I want to show you something. And he showed me this book and I've never been so disappointed in my life. <laughs> was he very sexy? Did you find him incredibly sexy? I thought he was a beautiful looking man and very, very sexy, yes, a very sexy person. But also, over there, he was drinking in Hawaii a lot of Hawaiian punch and planter's punches. Drinks with little cherries and pineapple and umbrellas. umbrellas and, yes, yes, right. That's those kind of things and quite a few of them. Yes. Too many. Too many. Drink. Yes. What about you? Did you find him sexy or, or did you just well, find him? Well, I'd like to say one thing first. Um, Elvis was not the kind to really break the law. I never heard of Elvis doing crack or cocaine or marijuana. Most of the pills, and I think this should be said, were prescription. They were given by doctors. And I think that's why the Betty Ford Clinic has been so successful. I mean, there wasn't one for him then. And I don't know if, if they would oh, have allowed him to go. you know now he'd be coming out of there? Yes, no well, absolutely. But I think it's important to know that they were not illegal drugs, yeah. as far as I know. They were all drugs that were given to him by a doctor. And I think that's unfortunate because Elvis was wonderful, not terribly sophisticated, but uh, he would not have broken the law. And I think that there are those to be held accountable who gave him those drugs. Which they were, by the way. Yes. And as far as being sexy. Yeah. <laughs> what, about, what do you think, Nancy? Major sexy? Or uh, did you know sexy. him as a friend? Because like, sometimes people say this one's very sexy. Go, not to me, you know. Well, you know, you can have an appreciation of a woman's sexuality, too. Yes. I had a great appreciation of his sexuality, believe me. But he was funny about it. He had a self-deprecating kind of humor that really was more endearing and charming. And Actually, he was I wonderful. Think you, yeah, you, you, you just, he was endearing and charming. I mean, yes, he was sexy looking, but he never, I don't know, did, did he do you all? He never made advances, or he, oh, he no, never he made very advances. gentlemanly, and yeah. things were very proper. Never but made advances, I must you're, you're going, wait, wait, you're going, uh... Um, <laughs> just spit it out. <laughs> Now, wait, now, wait, if you were, you don't say it, because no. it's making me feel think, really bad. No. <laughs> yeah. I think you're absolutely right about the fact he wouldn't break the law, but I think the reason he was fascinated with the pills was that he was supposed to be a superhuman, yes. somebody who was Hard to cope. Yes. larger than life, and he was all of a sudden put into a position of working with a lot of people who had studied for many years, who had studied acting and directing and knew a lot about filmmaking and theater, and knew a lot about things that he did not really know about. I think he took these pills trying to make himself be more like a super person or come up to these expectations well, that was, people had of him. He was very uncomfortable in that position. I thought so yeah, too. And, and that's I why he, he surrounded himself with his little wall Which of, I want to of get people. To, I want to talk yeah, about well. the group that he surrounded himself with and also what it did for your careers when they said you're going to start a movie with Elvis Presley. Did it help you or did it hurt you? Don't answer until we'll be back with more in a moment. Plus a little bit of affairs. So, we're really about to go. Thank you.